Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today, I'm bringing you a threefer. <laughs> I'm here to review the wig on my head, which is Trend by Tressalure in the color, let me look at it, 24 slash 102 slash R12. When it's a lot of numbers, my brain doesn't seem to remember them. It's a beautiful blonde. I'm going to compare this one to my original Trend in the color 33 slash 130 slash R4 that's gosh maybe 10 months old it's been worn 50 or 60 times I wear that I wore that one all the time this past winter it's in a red so if you want to see the style learn more about it see how a 10 month old that's been worn a ton looks and learn about a new resource well maybe new some of you may be familiar with the company Shaquel wigs Shaquel is a retailer that sells all of the major name brands they have two physical locations in Australia they have online locations in Canada and the United States and their long-term goal is to have physical locations in Canada and the US as well. If you want to know more about any of this then you should stick around. What an intro huh? That was a mouthful but I really wanted to set the stage for everything I'm going to try to cover in a reasonable amount of time in this video. Now, for those of you who follow me a lot and you've watched me a lot, you know that Trend is one of my favorite synthetic styles. As a matter of fact, I think Trend has knocked Girl Mono off the top synthetic spot. Here's my red trend. I shared this constantly this past winter on Instagram, on Facebook. I wore this constantly. I cannot tell you how much I love this style by Tressalure. Now Trend does have heat friendly fibers, but this one, you would not know it. It is holding up amazing. And I think one of the reasons for that is its length. It is a nice short, chin length bob with waves but it doesn't rub up on my clothing so therefore it doesn't get the friction damage that can be really hard on heat friendly synthetic wigs so if you have been staying away from heat friendly synthetic for good reason they can be very challenging to care for I don't find that to be the case in shorter styles typically and usually I prefer straight styles in these type of lengths when it's heat friendly but trust this trend wig has just been doing awesome. I have not had to take heat to it at all. It is holding yeah, up so briefly. Well. Let's talk about Shaquel and then I'll tell you all about trend. Shaquel, like I said, is an online retailer, but they do have two physical locations in Canada, or I'm sorry, in Australia. And they have a online, a pre, an online presence in Canada and the United States. And why that matters is because if you, for example, let's say you live in Canada, there aren't a ton of wig retailers in Canada. There are some, but there are a lot more in the United States. And the ones that you come across most are probably in the US, but you'll probably have to pay customs fees. Shipping is gonna be more expensive and may take longer because it has to ship out of the country. But when you have a retailer that's in your country, you don't have to worry about any of those things. And I love that Shaquel is thinking about expanding into physical locations because especially for a new wig wearer, not ever being able to try on wigs and get to know them in person can be such a detriment to their journey and can be really challenging when you're thinking about purchasing wigs. So keep your eye on Shaquel. I think they're doing some fun things. And I will just tell you guys, I absolutely love Amanda. Amanda is a teacher. <laughs> This isn't her main job, but she is an alopecia sufferer. She suffers from hair loss. She wears wigs and her content on Instagram is phenomenal. She is just the loveliest human being and I love her content and I love her. So if you're on Instagram, please follow Shaquel Wigs. I think you'll really like what Amanda is doing. She's not only bringing wigs to your attention, but she's bringing just the hair loss journey to your attention. And as a hair loss sufferer, I can connect with her on a deep level with that type of content and I just love her. All right, everybody, there'll be more details in the description. Let's take a look at Trend from all sides. I will throw on my red one real briefly at the very end so that you can see it because I do think it can help to see 
two of the same style in different wigs because there are always a little bit of variation and I'd really like to see you to see how well it is holding up. So if you're thinking about spending the money that these cost, because these are premium heat friendly synthetics, they're not cheap budget friendly ones. They have full mono tops, lace fronts, beautiful fibers, beautiful colors, then you want to know that you're going to get your money's worth. I believe you will. And that's just based on my experience. And I don't do anything special with my heat friendly synthetics. I never spray them with anything. Although I have styled this one with wig wax a number of times and that doesn't seem to be hurting it any, but I just wanted to, to throw that out there. So let's talk about this cap construction. First of all, here is that lace front. It is so good, even on my darker color. Now, obviously this has a full bang. And so some people might be wondering, well, why would I need a lace front with a full bang? Some people find lace fronts to be preferable because if the wind blows when you're outside and you don't have a lace front, that can be nerve wracking for some people. Sometimes you might want to style this differently and you can take a little claw clip, pull the bangs up and expose that lace front and what a cute alternative style to maybe how you typically wear it. You can also, Take some styling product like Tressler Wig Wax, which I have so many videos on Instagram with. I absolutely love it. You can get some lift in the front here with these bangs. The wig wax will really help hold it. And now that lace front will come in handy. So I really love the cap construction on this. And I think there's value to a lace front, even if you're going to wear it in a full bang. The other thing I really like about this piece is the bang isn't terribly long. I I haven't trimmed the bang on mine because I just play with it, but if I wanted to wear it straight down, I would have to trim it just a little bit. It kind of pokes me in the eye just a little bit, but not a lot. And so therefore, a lot of wigs with bangs, I have to trim all of the bangs that I typically get. And this one, I don't really feel I need to, which I prefer. And then as for that mono top, we have a full mono top up here. So you can actually part this anywhere you want, center, left, right, deep, narrow. You can play with it. If you wanted to, like I said, that Tressler wig wax is going to give you so many styling options. You can get some more lift here if you want to. I just really love that product. Maybe I'll do a styling video showing how I use wig wax. I might have one with the red one. If I do, I can't remember if I put it here on YouTube or not. If I do, I will link it. If I don't, I'll get one out here for you guys because I know some of you are not on Instagram and then you would prefer that. And I just took a quick look in the mirror. I just think any way you want to do this, it's darling. It is just an adorable piece. Let's take a look at the cap. So there's that full monofilament. All of that is parting space. That's a lot. You've got a lace front that's extended all the way to the ear tabs, nice soft ear tabs with metal stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. I love Tressler caps. I find them incredibly comfortable. I love their heat friendly fibers. I think they are stunning, they're realistic, and they're not shiny, which I absolutely love. As a matter of fact, Tressler just came out with a dry shampoo. I'll be reviewing the their two new products, a dry shampoo and a conditioning spray. And I wanted to do a quick video on Instagram showing how you can use dry shampoo to tamp down shine on a wig. And I couldn't use a Tress Allure wig because they don't have a shine. I had to take another brand. So I just really think they are doing some great things with their wigs right now. And I am a real fan. So you can see how easy this is, throw and go. Now it is a kind of a, a loose wave kind of a messy wave. Do I have a brush handy? Yes, I do. And so if you don't, this is pretty much out of the box. I've not combed through this one, but I have finger combed it. But if you want to smooth out that wave just a little bit, you can just take a wide tooth comb. I have this brush that I like to use. Some people say never use brushes on heat friendly fibers. I don't brush my wigs very often, but I also don't sometimes find a wide tooth comb to be enough if you're trying to smooth out a wave pattern. Um, so I do like to use a brush for that, but you can use a wide tooth comb if that's what you feel is best for you. But you can definitely smooth out those waves. You can use some product to bring them out. They're just wonderful. As far as permatease, this does have permatease. There's permatease, a light coating, not heavy, not poofy, pillowy, but there's a light coating all the way around from here, kind of like this mid section where when people want to get 
volume in their hair, that's where they usually want to get it, right? You put product in, you kind of scrunch it up, you back comb it, you tease it out. That's where people like to get lift, so it does have a little bit of permatease there. I wouldn't consider this big hair. I wouldn't consider this overwhelming hair. Every single time I put this one on, I can't say that for this one yet because it's new, but every time I've ever put this one on, I just literally, you guys, I go, oh, I love this wig. It's never felt overwhelming to me. And so I don't think that permatease is overwhelming, but it is there. So I want you to know about it. Let's take a look at my beloved. This is in the color 33 slash 130 slash R4. And like I said, I have worn this one 50 or 60 times. It's been worn a ton. A lot more for, for my typical wearing of synthetic wigs. Now keep in mind, I've used wig wax on this a lot. So this feels and looks like it's got some a little bit more volume here. And it's probably because I've styled it up a lot. I actually have not. I've washed this one once. So you can tell I wear it a lot and I don't wash it a lot, which is typical. I really try to go as long as possible when I with my synthetic wigs. I just think every time you wash them, you shorten their life. So as long as it doesn't smell bad, as long as it still looks good, then I don't wash it. Let me throw this one on one more time. And we are going to talk about the color in just a moment. But let me tell you about fit. I mentioned earlier, I think Tressler caps are super comfortable and I think they fit very, very true to average. I can cinch them in just a little bit and I have a 22 inch circumference and I do get a little bit of extra cap up here. When I do this, you can see it. That doesn't bother me. It doesn't add any extra bulk up there. I don't feel like it's too big for me. The ear tabs go exactly where I love them to go. And with this root, even though you can see a little bit of my bio hair, it looks just fine. So if you are average petite to average large, it is possible that a tress allure wig will fit you. You can find my measurements in the description and compare them to yours. All right, let's talk about this color. 24 slash 102 slash R12. We have got a golden blonde highlighted with platinum and a golden brown root. Let me take it off. I can kind of point out some of those colors for you. So we've got the base is a golden blonde. So that's the warmth in here. We have a warm golden blonde. It's a little yellow, not terribly yellow. The platinum really mitigates the yellow. Look at that platinum. Look at that platinum right there. The platinum really helps to mitigate the yellowness of the golden blonde. If you don't like warm blondes, I don't typically like warm blondes, but I love this color and I think it's because of the platinum. And I also like that it's heavier in the front. And then we've got this root. This is a 12. A 12 is the lightest brown. So this is a light brown root. It is not a dark root. It doesn't look like a, um, like a bleach blonde. Sometimes with dark, dark roots, a blonde can look more bleach blonde. That's not what this looks like. It is a light golden brown root. It is a warm root. So I would consider this color warm overall with the cool platinum, just a great summer color. Really, really pretty. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Keep in mind, there's a lot more of that platinum right here in the bang area, which really brightens up the face. And actually, I think it's what makes me love this color. I'm more of a cool blonde lover, typically, but I really like this color. All right, let's get outside. Please go down to the description to find more about Shaquelle. Thank you so much, Amanda, for partnering with me. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share another wonderful resource with all of my wig sisters. You will also find a link to my original trend review in this red. So if you want to know more about this color, you're going to have to go to that review. I'm not going to cover it here, and I'm not going to go outside in this video, but I did in that original. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Okay, we're outside with this beautiful blonde. It's so dynamic. I mean, look at all the different tones. There's that perfect root.
so bright, I should have put my sunglasses on. Let's look at it up close. What do you think? I think I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad I got it in this color. Now I've got one for summer and I've got one for winter and fall. Perfect. So spring and summer, red, fall and winter. Thanks for watching.